Tonight, from MetLife Stadium in New Jersey, it's time for Monday Night Football on EA Sports. Stadium that hosted Super Bowl 48 back in 2014. There's a look at MetLife Stadium here in East Rutherford. Tonight, we wrap up week three with a good Monday nighter here between the Dallas Cowboys and the New York Giants. carry for Barkley and only a yard this time as he's taken down right around the 26 the numbers for him from a week ago Charles how do you think he ran the football I thought he definitely had his moments I did think that they could have utilized him a little bit better and I'm definitely going to keep an eye on him to see how they're going to use him this week here's second and nine just a yard on that last run Jones. And he's got it. Touchdown, Giants. A great effort there. His fifth touchdown now on the year. And the Giants use the early turnover to get on the board first here in this one. The fly route works for the TD ground. And you know what the receivers love to say. If we get even with the defender, we're leaving. And that's exactly what he did all the way into the end zone. And then he was on the business end catching it once he got over the screen. On fourth down, here's Brian Anger now. kick this one away as he should be able to pin him back deep here with his first punt anger is on to punt and he gets this one away and the punt over the side in the air and the spot will be inside the 35 the Giants offense at the line ready to begin their next drive now, early on, you know, Charles, every game could be called a measuring stick game. But I think when it comes within your division like this, it's a measuring stick game with a little extra injury. I would agree with that totally because all division games have a little extra to them. But I like where this game is situated because at this stage of the season, it has that little extra juice. But at the same time, it's not a make or break if this were, let's say, week 15, 16, somewhere in that neighborhood. How about his performance last week? Over 200 yards. I think his decisiveness. One cut and he goes. That's what's really made him pile up the yardage. And the yardage he piled up last week, easily honored with NFC Offensive Player of the Week. I would have voted for him. And he's got this one across midfield in the Cowboy territory. And that time the tackle by Malik Hooker. The Giants at 2-0 here to begin the season. And they come in feeling pretty good after back-to-back -back victories, CD. And I thought that they played pretty well last week. Their execution, their discipline, their resilience, all on display in that victory. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work this to the 45.
And on third down, the Cowboys bring in an extra defensive back. Throwing Jones. And a dangerous throw there as that's knocked down and incomplete. Quarterbacks work all the time on manipulating the defense with their eyes and their head movement. In this case, he just stared the receiver. On is the punter, Brian Anger, to kick this one away. Fielded at the 33. A nice punt, but a good run back as well, 13 yards. And it'll be giant football first and 10. The offense takes the field, and we turn our attention to Saquon Barkley. He topped the 200-yard mark a week ago. You know they're going to have a lot of eyes, and hopefully for them, bodies on him here in this one. You've got to expect defensively, forget eight men in the box. Nine, ten, eleven. Hey, listen, <laughs> they're, they're trying to sneak you and me in there to try and slow him down, but I bet his offensive line mates are going to accept that challenge. They really like blocking for a guy who can turn up that kind of yardage. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And that'll leave him with a second and just a few inches left. Jones with a handoff to Barkley. And he's going to be brought down on what will be the final play of this first quarter. After one, 7 nothing on EA Sports. down Jones looking middle and that's complete and he'll be stopped at the 35 but not before he picks up seven yards working with a second and three looking to throw Jones connects here with a tight end Blake Jarwin and he's going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at the Cowboys 14. That good for 21 yards on the catch and run. And that's a more than acceptable read right there because it's zone coverage, so timing is everything. This time he waits for his man to come open, puts it right on him, and they pick up a first down. Here's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. It's Barkley on the counter. And he'll be taken down here at about the 11. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. Well done to sniff that out defensively. He had it diagnosed pretty quickly. I love that description because diagnosed is perfect on that one. Read his keys, made the play, and he couldn't even get going moving the football. Nine yards on the play there, and it sets him up first and goal. Yeah, once more, strong running. Excellent blocking at the point of attack. They've got a nice little drive brewing right here. Jones throwing to start the drive and he gets this one just shy of the 40 down at the 39 first down yardage on the first play of the drive 14 yards good strong throw and catch right there and so far in this game the alleys have been open for them to get completions and they're taking advantage of it on first down they look downfield and it's complete touchdown Giants a big play there with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Giants are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. Boy, Charles, this offense is just so explosive. They lead the league in scoring. And another example of just how good they are right there on that play. Yeah, we often overstate about how explosive teams are. But
Jones now on first and ten. Quick hitter here. It's complete. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. They may want to go back to that one. First play of the drive. Good for 15 and a first down. So in the second quarter, he's already up over 100 yards receiving now. And isn't 100 the magic number for a really good game for a receiver? So he's got a chance to really shatter that and have a profound effect on this game. So quickly all the way up at the 40-yard line. Back to throw. Jones. And they're going to get this to about the 44-yard line. Talking about a big first half. Already has the two touchdowns. Adding to his receiving total there and picking up the first down. He's coming off the line so fast. I think he's intimidating the defensive backs with his explosiveness, and he's chipping away at their confidence. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. On the draw, this is Barkley. 43 yards on the ground for him so far. They've created a nice sustained drive off of plays like that. A nice strong run there that keeps them advancing the ball. From the 39, Jones. They'll set up the screen to Barkley. And he's going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at the Cowboys 16. So we have reached halftime here in an 11-point contest as we'll get you down the coast to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. Welcome in, everyone, to our EA Sports Halftime Report. Let's get you caught up on what's going on around the NFL. We'll begin up at Bank of America Stadium in Uptown Charlotte, where it was definitely a game with some intrigue, as you can see by the scoreline. Alvin Kamara. Well over 100 yards on the ground with three touchdown runs. Next, we head off to check out another game. And they were victorious in that one over the visiting Jacksonville Jaguars. Austin Eckler, two touchdown runs to lead the way. Finally, we head to the shores of Lake Erie. See what's going on with the Cleveland Browns. And they were winners in that one over the visiting Pittsburgh Steelers. Amari Cooper leading the way with three touchdown catches. In our game, we were treated to a strong first half from the former Blue Devil, Daniel Jones. He's thrown for close to 200 yards already, and that's helped propel his guys into the lead as we send you back to Brandon God. Second down, here's Barkley. And he's brought down, but not before a really nice stiff arm to create a little space. And will wind up getting 10 back as that sets him up for third down. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time, and making it work. And he's able to get the first before he's taken down at the 36. They're able to convert with a gain of four. We all love to have a home run hitter in the backfield. Guy can take it the distance, but a short yardage trying to pick up first downs. That big guy, always a nice luxury to have, isn't he? Jones fakes the give to Barkley. And this nearly an interception, but it's incomplete. Well, a turnover really would have helped him there, but not to be. They'll try again from the 36 on second and 10. Barkley inside handoff. And some space here. And all the way in. Touchdown, New York. Saquon Barkley, his second touchdown of the game, giving him 12 on the season. As his guys are able to push that lead out a bit further. And he 
certainly played a pivotal role with those two TDs and why they're up on the scoreboard right now. Well, someone's all about winning, aren't they? Because he's not worried about the number. Sure, it's great to have two touchdowns. But the bottom line is what he's doing is contributing to their lead. He wants to continue to do so. Saquon Barkley and not much to speak of call it a one yard gain up to the 26 the last play got just a yard here's second and nine for the 26 looking to throw Jones that'll be taken in there by Kenny Galladay Jones to Galladay first down Giants it was a bit of an adjustment for Kenny Galladay in 2021, his first year in New York, and with new quarterback Daniel Jones. His mission, get back to his Pro Bowl form here in 2022 and avoid similar struggles. That catch right there, a nice way to get going. And they're able to work this across midfield to the 48. I'll tell you what, a lot of those mid-range throws have been available because sometimes teams get too concerned about the deep ball and they leave too much space in front of them. And these guys have been taking advantage so far. No, oh, a heck of a move. Oh, man. 144 yards for him on the ground now. He has been a tough man to bring down all night. I think we're seeing the effect that runs like that are starting to have on this game. They're a little bit slower, that front seven, reacting to the football, almost like body blows in boxing. Slowing them down, and they're really starting to take over in this game. And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. Another big hitter there. This one good for 18. Just picking up yardage in bunches here. These last few plays, they have moved right down the field. And just like that, they're going to be set up with a first and goal. The tight end Jarwin with it out on the left side. Only a yard in the completion. It's second and goal. And they ran just a little underneath route here on first and goal, but there's really not a whole lot of room to operate this close to the goal line. He's just not able to get loose after the catch. On second and goal, Jones in a heavy traffic and it's intercepted. Picked up by Leighton Vander Esch. And the Cowboys are going to get the football back. It's Shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. And he's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven past the 30 to the 32. Three yards remain for second down. Off the play fake. Jones. And he's got his favorite target yet again. It's complete. That one covers 24 yards. It's a first down. the middle with Barkley and yeah, he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right at a yard well at this stage that's exactly what you want offensively good run on first down stay in bounds keep that clock rolling and look at that play chart that the play caller has in his hands right now that's what you got to focus in on because that's divided up by sections and right now he's looking at that four minute offense section what running plays do we have to bleed down the clock and take care of the football? Right now, they're executing really well. So first and 10 now from the 30. A handoff to Barkley. And he'll manage to pick up about four. It's second down. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. Again, it's Barkley. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. He'll get 15 and a Giants first down. Back to throw. 
Jones. Now Wright completes it to Jarwin. And he's brought down. Eleven more yards that go around. A first down as well. The passing game continues to be their friend. Even with a stable lead here in the fourth, Charles, they're going back to that well. They'll try and run for it with Barkley. And he is in. Touchdown, New York. Saquon Barkley. His 11th rushing touchdown on the year. And the Giants are closing in on a third straight victory to start the campaign. Now it's looking incredibly likely to be a 3-0 start to this season. That is obviously excellent. 2-0 is one thing. 3-0, you really have some momentum. And now they're serving notice to the rest of the league that they're a pretty darn good football team. Confident, aggressive, attacking at all times. This looks like a team that you're going to have to deal with. And guess what? Behind closed doors, they're trying to figure out ways to... Here's a give to Barkley. 178 yards on the ground for him now as he has gotten better, really, as the night's gone on. I have to chuckle to myself a little bit, Brandon, because right now I could be in that huddle with that offensive line. And I know exactly what they're saying. If you call a pass play here, we're going to call a timeout. Run the football. <laughs> We've got control of this thing. Get in behind us and let's go. Their time to... And that is caught. He's got it for a giant touchdown. A 20-yard touchdown. And the Giants are closing in on a third straight win as they widen the gap further here in the fourth quarter. He's got them out now to a three-score lead here in the fourth quarter after that one, C.D. And well, he looked right off the line like he knew that that ball was coming his way, and he secured it for six points. Yeah, I think when you're leading by a healthy margin already, Partner, under the lights in primetime, this offense, they gave the nation quite a show, putting up that many points to come away with what will certainly be a memorable win for them. And, Brandon, I think it's as simple as this. Some players, some teams, they're just meant for the big stage. And when they get a chance to play in this type of atmosphere where all eyes are on them and all the lights are shining brightly, they show up and they show out. So for the Giants, it's an ideal start as they move to 3-0 now on the young season. And they'll get to stay put for a few days as they'll host the Chicago Bears next week. Meanwhile, for the Cowboys, they'll fall to 1-2. And, and they will be back home next week for a date with Washington. So for our entire crew, alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you next time.